Welcome to Ashto R76, Method B, Quartering, Procedure 10.1.1. Place the original sample on a hard, clean, level surface where there will be neither loss of material nor the accidental addition of foreign material. Mix the material by turning the entire sample over at least three times until the material is thoroughly mixed. With the last turning, form the entire sample into a conical pile by depositing individual lifts on top of the preceding lift. Carefully flatten the conical pile to uniform thickness and diameter by pressing down the apex with the shovel or trowel so that each quarter sector of the resulting pile will contain the material originally in it. The diameter should be approximately 4 to 8 times the thickness. Divide the flattened mass into four equal quarters with a shovel or trowel and remove two diagonally opposite quarters, including all fine material, and brush the cleared spaces clean. Again, be certain to collect all of the fines into the quarters. Make sure to use the brush to collect all of the fine material. This is part of your sample. Remove the diagonally opposite quarter, then reduce until the appropriate sample size for testing has been obtained. Be careful not to incorporate material from the other piles. Section 10.1.2 As an alternative to the procedure in Section 10.1.1, or when the floor surface is uneven, the field sample may be placed on a canvas blanket or a tear-resistant tarp and mixed with a shovel or trowel, as described in section 10.1.1, leaving the sample in a conical pile. As an alternative to mixing with the shovel or trowel, lift each corner of the blanket or tarp and pull it over the sample toward the diagonally opposite corner, causing the material to be rolled. After the material has been rolled a sufficient number of times, a minimum of four times, 
so that it is thoroughly mixed. Pull each corner of the blanket or tarp toward the center so the material will be left in a conical pile. Flatten a pile as described in section 10.1.1. Divide the sample as described in section 10.1.1 or insert a stick or pipe underneath the blanket or tarp and under the center of the pile. Then lift both ends of the stick, dividing the sample into two equal parts. Insert the stick under the center of the pile at right angles to the first division and again lift both ends of the stick dividing the sample into four equal parts. Gently separate all four quarters, making sure that no material cross-contaminates. Remove two diagonally opposite quarters, being careful to clean the fines from the blanket or the tarp. The two unused quarters may be set aside for later use or testing if desired. Successively mix and quarter the remaining material until the sample is reduced to the desired size. Welcome to Method A, Mechanical Splitter. Sample splitters shall have an even number of equal width shoots, but not less than a total of 8 for coarse aggregate or 12 for fine aggregate which discharge alternatively to each side of the splitter. For coarse aggregate and mixed aggregate, the minimum width of the individual shoots shall be approximately 50% larger than the largest particles in the sample to be split. For dry, fine aggregate in which the entire sample will pass the 9.5 millimeter or 1 and 3 8 inch sieve, the minimum width of the individual shoots shall be at least 50% larger than the largest particles in the sample and the maximum width shall be 19 millimeters or 3 quarters of an inch. The splitter shall be equipped with two receptacles to hold the two halves of the sample following splitting. It shall also be equipped with a hopper or straight edged pan which has the width equal to or slightly less than the overall width of the assembly of shoots by which the sample may be fed at a controlled rate to the shoots. The splitter and accessory equipment shall be so designed that the sample will flow smoothly without restriction or loss of material. All right, so this is method C, sampling from a miniature stockpile. Sample has to be wetter than SSD. So you want to turn the sample over a minimum of three times. And to be considered turned over, you go all the way around the stockpile and the whole stockpile is turned over. So that's one, two, three, five random locations. You also can flatten it if you wanted to. And then take random locations from that. Addendum for Ashto R76. Selection of method. Method A, mechanical. Method B, quartering. Method C, mini stockpile. Type of aggregate. For fine aggregate greater than SSD or wet, method of reduction is A, B, or C. 
mechanical, quartering, or mini stockpile. For coarse aggregate, it is A and B, mechanical and quartering. For coarse and fine aggregate, A and B, mechanical or quartering. And for fine aggregate drier than SSD, method A, mechanical only. Please be sure to review all of the materials available in your technician certification workbook.